This video is about how to make your very own backyard compass. Now in order to do this right, we have to understand a thing or two about how the sun moves through the sky. Now as the earth turns in an eastward direction, this makes the sun appear to move in a westward direction in the sky. The sun rises on the eastern horizon, climbs through the sky, and sets on the western horizon. Now at some point in the day, the sun is at the meridian. From the standpoint of where you are on the earth, the meridian is the imaginary line that divides the sky into east and west halves. So the line is drawn from due north all the way through the zenith, which is the point right over your head, and then through due south. Anyway, when the sun hits the meridian, this is called high noon. Now, knowing your local high noon is handy uh, for the next time you want to have a duel outside your local saloon. Now don't confuse high noon with noon on your clock. High noon is when the sun is at the meridian. Noon on your clock is just a convention we've invented to help us set our schedules. Now our time zones are based on the concept of high noon. In every time zone, there's a longitude line somewhere right down the middle of that time zone. Uh, for the lucky people who live right on that line, their local noon is the same as high noon. The noon on their clocks corresponds to when the sun is at the meridian. However, if you live east of that line, noon on the clock is the same, but your local high noon will be before noon. If you live west of that line, noon on your clock is the same, but your local high noon is after noon. Now, how much before or after noon is high noon for your city? Now, that's what we're going to find out. The sphere of the Earth has been divided into 360 degrees of longitude lines. It takes the sun about four minutes to move one degree. So if you're standing on 70 degrees west at high noon, in four minutes the sun will be at high noon over 71 degrees west. And then four minutes later the sun will be at high noon over 72 degrees west. And so on and so on. So let's figure out high noon for your area go to latlong.net and type in your street address and note the longitude number. Now to simplify things, take away the minus sign if there is one. Now you need to know the high noon for your time zone. What longitude line in your time zone is noon and high noon the same? I live in the eastern time zone and for us it's 75 degrees west. Here are the longitudes for other time zones in the US. So here's what you do. Take your local longitude and subtract from it your time zone high noon longitude. What we're trying to do here is we're trying to find out how many degrees longitude there is between you and your time zone high noon. So what you do then is you multiply that number by four. Remember it takes the sun four minutes to move one degree. If your number is negative, this is the number of minutes before clock noon that is high noon for your area. If your number is positive, this is the number of minutes after noon that is high noon for your area. Okay, so here's the goofy part. If you're doing this whole experiment during daylight savings time, so basically from the beginning of March through the end of October, then you need to add one hour to the whole thing. During daylight savings time, your local clock is set forward one hour, so don't forget to figure this into your equation. Okay, so now you have a local high noon time. Now you can make your backyard compass. Go outside and place a straight stick in the ground. Make sure it's standing up straight. Now wait for your local high noon and then note where the shadow falls. Place another stick at the tip of that shadow. The direction that shadow is now pointing is due north. Why is that? Remember, you did this at high noon when the sun was at the meridian. The meridian is that line that runs from due north to due south. Since the sun was right over the southernmost point in your sky, the shadow the sun casts is now pointing in the opposite direction, due north. Now you can complete your compass by extending the lines further north and south, and a perpendicular line for east and west. If you want, you can replace the sticks with larger markers. Now you have a backyard compass you can use to orient yourself to the sky, day or night.